Now we have an infinite canvas system, which you can smoothly zoom in or out, pan around in your workspace. Everything inside your canvas turns into a layer inside the layers panel. You can have video, image, text or shape layers inside your workspace. But if you need to create a specific size canvas, you need to use artboard tool on the left toolbar. Click on the artboard icon and then draw an artboard in any size, anywhere inside your workspace. After that, you can change the size of your artboard from the bounding boxes around. Or, use the right sidebar menu inputs to enter any number you need. You can create unlimited amount of artboards inside your infinite canvas. Also, you can move them around by clicking and dragging from the title. Artboards are basically your containers in specific dimensions and contains your design elements. You can copy them by clicking on option key and dragging to anywhere you want from the title of the artboard. Or select the artboard press command C and command V. Or press command D and it will create a duplicate next to the artboard. And you can keep editing these artboards individually. They are now all independent artboards inside your workspace. As I mentioned before, you can resize your artboard from the bounding boxes around or from the right sidebar width and height inputs. Just below these inputs, you will see preset size drop down menu. You can also instantly change your canvas size from these preset dimensions. You can change the ratio of your canvas from this menu. You can make it vertical or landscape. If you have a layer inside your artboard, you can still resize your artboard while it contains design elements. Also, you can choose to mask or unmask this content from this option. If you have any layers inside your artboard, you can choose to fit the dimension to the content from this option. It is like cropping your canvas size based on your content. When you create an artboard, by default the background color is white. You can go to right sidebar fill option and remove any color to get transparent background. If you add a fill color to this artboard, randomly different colors will be applied as solid color. You can change the color by clicking the color box inside the fill section. You will see a color picker which you can change the background fill color. If you want to apply a gradient color as a background, you can navigate to top of the color picker and choose any gradient option you like. You can adjust the colors or angle or softness as you want on your canvas. If you want to apply a pattern as a background, just choose the artboard and go to fill section on the right sidebar. Open the color picker and choose pattern option from the top menu. Now, you can select any image from your computer to apply as a pattern image. You can change the pattern from the canvas itself by controller on the artboard. Or use the inputs inside the small pattern pop-up. If you need a grid on your canvas in order to snap or align objects inside your artboard, you can add grid as an overlay to your canvas. Simply go to the right sidebar and press plus icon in the grid section. By default it will add a square grid with a random color. Then, you can change the color of this grid, or change the opacity as you want. You can also choose to have isometric grids or square grids. Also, change the size of it according to your design. You can hide or unhide them while you are working on them. Or you can completely remove them if you do not need. Artboards works like containers for your design elements. You can export them as flat image formats, in video formats or with HTML format. If you want to export as flat image, select the artboard and go to export section on the right sidebar. Click on the plus icon to add export option. For flat image formats, you have JPG, PNG and SVG options. You can add several export and format options to download as a zip file. This way you can get several different format exports from a single artboard. 
if you have a video or animation inside your artboard, you can export it as video files. We have MP4 and WebM format options. Choose your format and hit the export button. You need to wait until your render finishes. When it is completed, you can download your video to your computer. We also now have HTML export option. You can use this export format specially for your Google banner ads. When you hit export button, you will download a zip file with the HTML file and images and other assets inside a separated folder.